How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Piggy Bank Podcast, Piggy your favorite casual gaming podcast with your casual gaming buds. These are my casual gaming buds. My name is Phil. We also have with me Connor, Ellie. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Hello, Connor. I'm ready. And of course, we also have a Mr. Coffee, Tavin Bothell. Oh, man, the sinuses are hitting me hard right now, boys. Real hard. Shut me down mm. uh, two days ago. And I just, like, I didn't even get out of bed. I was like, fuck, I don't feel good. And just the past couple couple of weeks uh, have been like my only reprieve from my allergy fit. Yeah, I'm I'm having like the full like mucus in the throat, frozen flame now. Got a headache, pressure in the nose, all this stuff. Uh, this is so bad to the point like I went to the store, I got some Mucinex, and I'm popping Mucinex like like candy. Just no fun. I, uh, you gotta make oh, sure yeah. to drink a lot of water when you when you take that. By the way. Oh yeah, no, I feel it. I feel it for sure. Speaking of which, it's time for me to take my pill, but I'm here doing the piggy bank. You can do it on the, on the camera. No one's going to judge you, Devin. Except me. Uh, allergies uh, are supposed to be ran through. You're not supposed right. to just... It's, it's your mucinex. It. Connor, I have to talk mm -hmm. for a living. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, so do I. Hey, you, don't, you don't think I'm sitting here, you know, having allergies? Not at this current time, but like at, at other times I did. Connor, so. uh, look, when you go out to a restaurant, do you want your server clearing his throat and clearly, like, not feel or feeling under the weather? No, you don't want that. No, fair then enough. you're like, he's coughing into my food. So I gotta, yep. I gotta sound, I gotta sound superb. It's not a, uh, not a good look. Sublime! Good look. <laughs> See, just don't, don't Sublime! Surf What's anyway, that from? I don't get it. It's, it's from the, the Barbie, Barbie movie. movie. Have you uh, not seen the Barbie movie? I had not, no. I missed uh, it. We're actually... At work, uh, we're getting rid of the Barbie movie after this week. 11th highest grossing movie of all time as of right now. Damn. I mean, it makes sense with all the hype that came up around it. Guys, we got rid of Oppenheimer two and a half to maybe three weeks ago. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah. That was filled out for a long while, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? I you know I saw the latest uh, Ninja Turtle movie the last day it was in theaters. And uh, it was super, yeah, it was super fine. It was okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's 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 fun. It's not yeah. really must be on that. Connor, yeah. you saw Ninja Turtles. You haven't seen Barbie. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yep. Well, I, I had a friend who's like major uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans. Oh, uh, he's fans. A, so he was. He got, he got a Ninja Turtle friend. All right. Yes, There's always yes. one in every group. Mm -hmm. Did you guys yep. dress up along with the Power Rangers? No, I did not, and neither did he. I uh, I, I don't, don't have any show the colors. Power Rangers well, and Ninja Turtles. Wow. <laughs> my, man him Power his, Rangers. my man is living his late 90s, early 2000s dream. <laughs> not not him, Power Rangers. There's always the guy that you said who likes Teenage Mutant Ninja oh, Turtles. Okay. And then there's the other guy who also likes Power Rangers. Maybe gotcha, they're the gotcha, same. Gotcha, gotcha. I, was never, I was never a big Power Rangers guy. Like, even I when I was a kid. It. Yeah. But no, I never really watched it. Oh, not at all. Okay. I, liked, uh, no. I liked the Dino Force one. I, I remember that, that one. They had a video game. Uh, I remember like, the video game being a lot of fun. There's no way it is. But I remember you know. it being like Tyrannosaurus, Saber Tooth yeah. Tiger. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I remember no. that. Um, Mo Mastodon, is that what you said? Oh, my favorite. Yeah. Um, no, I was a big, I liked Ninja Turtles. I wasn't huge on Ninja Turtles. I liked Ninja Turtles and Transformers. That was a big one. Mm. Transformers had a, had a cute little moment with me. Uh, I had, I had a bunch Bates. of the... Oh really? No, yeah, I, it yeah. was for me. It was before, like with like the cartoon, mm -hmm. um, and like there was a weird CG cartoon that was. Uh, I think it's weird now looking, looking back to it. I loved it as a kid. Hmm. It was in that know, era of that. like CG cartoons, but like all the like body yeah. formations that are like wrong and the animations aren't good or whatever. There was a Donkey Kong 3D animated show. Yep, uh, there sure was. I never watched stuff it, but... of nightmares now. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, see, that CG thing. trans. I always thought, didn't it only have like two episodes or something like that? Donkey Kong? Yeah. It it was like have, I don't know. It, it didn't have many. It didn't run very long. I wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then you got to look back and be like, man, it's amazing Jimmy Neutron is like yeah. as good as it is. And it's not great, but you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's there. What'd you, you, can tell what, you can tell what's happening on screen. It's not that good. From an animation perspective. It's a funny oh, show. Oh, well, of course. It's a funny of show, but from an animation perspective, it's it's a little rough, but, you know, it's okay. Not like uh, the best show that was on, like, on Nickelodeon Cartoon Network, which was Ed, Ed and Eddie. Well, again, well, no, yeah, those are two different networks, yes. but yeah. 
it's all lumped together. It's yeah. all just the same thing. I don't remember I any of Ed and Eddie. Eddie. I used to watch it all the you time. Don't? I don't remember a thing. You don't remember Ralph? He had a sheep. Oh yeah, the sheep. Ralph, his name yeah. was not Ralph. It was Rolf. Rolf, Rolf. You fucking fake fan. I know, right? I should just, I should just end it. Connor, <laughs> we're on the internet. You dare, man. you dare challenge the son of a shepherd? <laughs> oh, Ed boy. Damn, you're, um, yeah, you're, you're, there's the impression guy coming out. That's me. It's bound to come out. He didn't do. He didn't come out when he was Transformers, or I guess he named me Ninja I Turtle. I am Optimus Prime. Your first one was better. Yeah, I know. The Ralph, right on. I almost said Ralph again. I know you're wrong. Uh, anyway, boys, we like to hang out on the show and play some mini games. Um, and those are basically just like we scour the internet for lists, top ten lists, uh, tier lists, whatever, and we bring them to the table, as it were, and discuss or uh, make make we gamify them and earn points and have fun and ooh camaraderie. It's such it's such a good time. Um, well, it's worth noting today. That's, not, that's that is a mini game that we play. That is not the mini games that we play. <laughs> I, was just, I, I was trying to be broad. I wasn't like I. I guess I did kind of lock in on one, but oh, I was yeah, doing you, like you super specified. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, that is what I have for us today. Today we're going to be doing the top ten. To, one of our hit tens. It's the hot the the top ten Super Mario games. Oh fuck! I know what number one is. I don't. Yeah, this is the top ten best Super Mario games of all time. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot. There is and a I lot. I will say this: this is not limited to just the platformers. Oh, okay. Mar anything with Mario. Not in front. limited to just the platformers, dude. Mario and Olympics. Let's go. Mario and it's Sonic at the at the Olympics. There you go. You got. You're forgetting. You're you were forgetting somebody there. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know. The one who was forgotten probably deserves it. Yeah. Sonic does not deserve to be forgotten. Yeah. He's got a better design than Mario. No. He's a blue bastard. <laughs> no. But we can... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, not get bogged down. Anyway, gents, of course, this is hit 10, where we have a top 10 list, and we assign point values to each number. One on the list being worth 10 points, 10 on the list being worth one, and everything inversed thereafter. Um... This this today we're gonna have Tavin going first for my hit oh, ten. Rock on. Um, whereas because <sighs> mainly because last time Connor went first for mine. Oh, um, how do you you don't remember that? That's a lie. I do remember that. Mm hmm. Sure. Phil does right. remember things like this. It's it's <laughs> insanity to me. Um, but I can't remember what I had. I can't like I can't remember when Ash tells me to do something. Hmm. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> I know. Classic. Uh. It's a top ten. All right. Well, it's oh, really sorry. Between... They, will, they, will, they will each have uh, five guesses to try mm -hmm. to clear off the list, and they will be going back and forth. Of course. Come on, hurry up. Let's see here. Let's see here. Ten top ten Mario games. Yeah. Spans. Now, now let me ask Phil. Does every game have Mario in the title? Yes. Okay. Um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't like some. Like, 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 it's not a Smash Brothers or anything. Um, I wouldn't say that's a Mario game. I said it's a Nintendo game. Mm -hmm. Well, I just wanted to make sure it was, like, not a game with Mario in it. Mm. No, um, this is from the Mario franchise. All right. I'm going to go. Oh, interesting. That actually puts in a lot more than you would think. Um, mm, it's between two, really. Which one's, which one's number one? I'm going to take a shot and hopefully just take an easy one out of Connor's pocket and hope that he doesn't know the other, like, heralded one of the franchise. And I'm going to say Super Mario 64. Super right. Mario 64, Tavin, is our number two answer. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. We'll take Tavin, took, Tavin took the easy one because he's an easy guy. <laughs> Tavin to call him. That'll, that'll net Tavin nine points. Tavin, mm -hmm. keep mm -hmm. the score. Mm -hmm. As yeah, usual. I'm keeping score. I got it. I got it over here. See, there's there's one that I feel like should be on the tip of my tongue as like one of the Mario games, uh -huh. but it's not coming out. It's not so. I'm gonna I'm gonna narrow it down. 
uh, well, let's uh, let's go to let's go to let's narrow it down to two in my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those are the two that I've narrowed it down. Uh huh. Audience, he has not narrowed down down to two. I have not. Is, yeah, let's just say is, his mind to his let's, one maybe. Yeah, it's having you are absolutely right. <laughs> and I'm just gonna. I actually did come up with two now, but I'm gonna go with the first one, which is uh, Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey is our number seven answer. Lower than I thought. Criminally sense. low on this list. I mean, you gotta, I mean, there's a lot of Mario games. You gotta respect the history, you know, placement and time, influence, impact, all that. Criminally uh, low on this list. I'm gonna go with uh, Super Mario 3. Super Mario 3, Tavin. It's going to be our number five answer. Fuck. Okay. So let's go with uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Wow. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is Galaxy our number four two. answer. Oh, wow. Four. Quite okay. a bit higher than I thought. Take that. <sighs> Having guess number three, my friend. Mm. My two was between three and 64, but maybe they mm-hmm. went... With Super Mario World. Super Mario World is our number three answer. Tab. Oh wow! Okay, all right, all right. We're getting there. We're closing in. What the you fuck is number points. one? <laughs> yeah, no. So, just, just to remind you before Connor goes, we have uh, our number two answer has been taken. Number three, four, five, seven, and that's all. Okay. So what is one? That is question and i'm just gonna go with one that it probably isn't but it, it might be just the, the outlier as far as number one goes which is uh mario kart 8 yeah. mario kart 8 connor it's not on the, it's list. Not on the list that's a fucking crime that's a fucking not on the crime list. that's Damn. a crime i gotta be the on the list at least that's a crime <laughs> isn't it's that the, the most popular mario kart it's game? the most popular it's the best one like what? Hmm. Oh well, we can't win them all, right? What the fuck is number one? <laughs> Phil's smug smile. There's no yeah. way. I mean, I'm I'm gonna start going through the, the thought process here. Uh huh. Like, there's no way the original game is number one. Don't be serious. Don't it could be on the list, but it's not number one. Uh. Two gets confusing on which version of two you're talking about. I don't think anybody claims two is the best. It's usually the conversation is usually 64, three, world. That's usually what the conversation is. Connor already said Odyssey and Galaxy 2 for some reason. I'm quite partial to Galaxy, but I don't think it's number one. It's definitely not Sunshine. Yeah, that'd be a funny one. It would be funny. Phil found the uh, one. It's Phil's list. favorite. Let's 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 talk. Let's talk shit. Yeah. Phil Phil found the one the one game the one list with the sunshine's number one. He found the list with, where people had something to prove. Phil, where did this list come from? Uh, this list came from the top tens dot com. Let right. me try to find out when this it's crowdsourced. Was posted. Yes. Um. Um. Let me see. Does it? It does not tell me when it was posted. See now, I, uh, now I'm thinking: Could it be another Mario Kart? What are the more popular Mario Karts? 64 Mario oh, yeah, Kart was really popular. Double Dash, of course, holds a lot the of best one. a lot of weight in a lot of fans' hearts. No, it's not. Um, yeah. It's not as it's not as good as eight. Yeah, it's really cool mini games, dude. People Double like Dash Mario Kart my second seven. favorite. I mean, Mario Kart 7 was basically Mario Kart 8, but for the 3DS. Mario Kart Wii is liked, but not loved. It's not going to be like Mario Kart DS. This is crazy, man. What is what is on this list? Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I'll just shoot for it, and uh, I'm going to guess... Fuck, man. I really don't know. Uh, fuck it. Give me Mario. Yeah, give me Mario Kart Double Dash. 
Mario Kart Double Dash. It's not on the list. Damn. Damn. I hope you're keeping track, Phil, of the rounds, because I have no clue what round we're in. That was number four. Okay. It's mine. So it's now Connor's number four. Let's go with uh, just might as well, right? Super Mario Bros. The first one. Connor, Super Mario Brothers is not on the list. Mm. Fuck! Holy shit! That game saved video games. If we're <laughs> we're gonna disrespect it like that, holy yes. shit! Oh my yes, god! We are. <laughs> and it's a good game too. It's a little simple, but it's good. <laughs> Let the record show that it was number eleven. Okay. okay. All right. I still think that's disrespectful, but mm-hmm. um, Mario, just to get some points, man. Mario Galaxy. Kevin, Super Mario Galaxy is the number one answer on this list. Okay, okay. Mm. Um, a little much <laughs> as a, <laughs> as a big fan of Mario Galaxy. A little much. Part of me was like, maybe I should just say that one because it's just like it's <laughs> gonna be on here. But number right. one, okay, that's surprising. Uh, all right, let's go with a uh, Mario Maker, whatever the hell you call it. Super Mario, Super Mario, Mario Maker. Maker. That's not a Connor. bad one, Connor. It's not a bad one. It's not on the list. That's mm. that's not a bad one. Not I would have named like, it. I would have named Super Mario RPG before I named Mario Maker. Because I, I mean, that right. one had like such the longest self <laughs> shelf life I've seen of a Mario game. People oh yeah, that damn thing for you. Oh yeah. Well, actually, besides Mario Kart. Shockingly, like, like Mario Maker Two did not. Like there's a there's a, a a life of it on the internet. Like people are, are mm-hmm. there's a community, but it, not nearly to the effect of the first game. Mm-hmm. All right, so there are four games that y'all did not uh, touch on this list. Yeah. Um, number ten, we have the new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Yeah, I was curious if that one was gonna make the list because um, it's a good Mario game, but it's not like the best. But it's it's good. Number nine. We have Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. What, when, uh, was, when was this list last, eight. like, up? Oh, I guess it doesn't have a date on it, does it? It, does, it doesn't tell me, yeah. Okay. Uh, number eight, Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Which is the one that got to the Wii U and it recently, uh, not recently, but it got a port to the Switch, uh, like, a couple years ago. With uh, Bowser's Fury. You remember that? Yes, yeah. Number seven, we have Super Mario Odyssey, which was said. Super Mario Odyssey. Great game. Number number six, which is the last one they all did not grab, was Super Mario Sunshine. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, that makes sense. It was uh, on there. I'm it's sorry. Well, it's well regarded. In no list should, should Sunshine be above the first game, the original game. In no list. You're smoking crack. No. Uh, no that's that's number number five as we know is mario three uh number Uh four super mario galaxy two three super mario world two super mario 64 and the number one super mario galaxy um not a bad list not a great list Uh, like i mean like like it's okay. It's got some some things on there that need to be there, but like it's missing some key components, and a lot of things are in the wrong order. Mario Kart Double Dash, which I believe Connor said was number twelve. That was Tavin. Oh, Tavin, you said Double Dash. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was number going 12. off of like internet bias there. Yep. I Mario Kart Wii was number thirteen. Uh, the original New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS is number fourteen. Okay. People like that one more than the Wii one, don't they? No. No? No. Hmm. Um, number 15 was Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which is the one getting a remake in November. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it had a subtitle like that, but cool. Yeah, Legend of the Seven Stars. Cool. All right. Neato. And then that's that's where I guess I'll leave it on that one. Mario Maker, which was, which was said by uh, Connor, was number 19. Yeah, and see, Mario Maker is better than several of the games that are on the list. Mm. This is just you crazy. You. Mario Kart 8 is number 23. Dang, that's that's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which oh, is is better in the Switch port, is 24. Mm. I, I mean, those should just be the same thing. I, I am happy that Double Dash won out. It deserves it. 
No. You see, <laughs> the, the GameCube had an <laughs> right there. Wants to, wants to agree with you, but I just can't. That's it. Dude, that just, is, you can't. You can't. Yes, you can't. It's the mini games. That's what puts it over the edge of everything else. When you nobody, go to races, nobody you, goes you, to what, Mario Kart. Which mini game are you talking about? I think What's he's talking like Balloon Bash or whatever the fuck that mode is talk- called. Yeah, there's it's in every Bash. single battle mode in every yeah. single Mario Kart game, Connor. Yeah. There's the other ones too. There's the bomb, bomb. I mean, the bombs. You get all the bombs and you throw those. And you gotta, you gotta like bomb again. Bomb, 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 bomb. bomb. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think Connor realized that battle mode still existed. No, there's other one. The, the, well, Connor's only experience with Mario Kart 8 is playing it with me like two or three times at my house when it came out, getting mad that I was beating his ass and then putting it down. You know what? And and it's unfair to to, to compare us to because you have yeah, all these hours to play it and then you still, you know, of course you won. You're just a you, pussy who can't just, handle not, being beat, you're man. Not, you're just you're a just pussy. A, I tap. I play fighting games. I get beat most of the time. Oh, when you get my, you let my, my, old me beat you with Mario Kart and you threw your controller down and went home. You took your ball and went home because you're a little baby. I never threw my controller. That's a lie. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lie. <laughs> he went. He went. This is stupid. I don't like it. It is. It is um, stupid. It is stupid. Fun fact: uh, Me and Tavin uh, first met and bonded playing Mario Kart. Very true. Very true. When? Don't when did you guys play it? It's like fucking Fuck, September man, 20, 2018 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 20, 2018, 2017? It was 20, 2018. Well, like the Switch came out in the 20s. Well, it could have been. No, because I didn't get my Switch until Christmas. So, yeah, it must have been 2018. It was definitely, it was definitely 2018 because I didn't live here in 2017. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That works. There we go. Well, anyway, Phil, good mini game, very boys. good at Phil, very good at Mario Kart. Very good. I, I am very, very good. good at Mario Kart. Very Mario good. Kart Master. It, it, it's one of those things where it's like, like, you know, you have fun conversations about like, oh man, you know, you're, you're not that good or whatever. Oh, I'm clearly better. This, that, and the third. And like, I feel like we could have that conversation about smash all day, but like mm-hmm. Mario Kart, it's like, nah, Phil's just better. <laughs> I'm him. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ash gets mad at me when we play Mario Kart. I get mad at you. Yeah. That's right. I uh, yeah. I like to, my favorite my favorite track is the Excite Bike uh, track oh, because God. I do this thing. What do you mean? It's a it's fantastic. No, it's, it's so good. Boring as shit. No, it's so good. I do this thing where I let um all of the other racers do the first lap by themselves, and I'm just at the start line, and then I'll catch up. Go off. Such a bitch. Yeah, yeah, what, that's a bitch. Man. Did you expect? Did you expect a round of applause, Bill? <laughs> no, it's just something I do. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, because you like you like uh, peeing on people's graves, right? Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Take that. It's probably like a it's probably like a seventy thirty percent of of me winning and doing that. So I'm pr- I'm for winning. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> by winning. By winning. That's what it is. By winning. By winning. Shut up, Charlie way Sheen. To yeah. Uh, Charlie Sheen for president in 2028. You know what I'm talking about? Hell yeah. Nah. Why not 2024, bro? It's too late. It's never too late. <laughs> we got to pack one of these motherfuckers up out of here. So, you know. You know what's, um, you know who's better than Charlie Sheen? Hmm. His dad, Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen's great. Martin Sheen plays one of the best video game villains of all time in Mass Effect. Martin Sheen, good guy. I like him. I always forget he did did that character. Elusive man, man. Yeah. Him. Makes Iconic. sense, though. Oof. And so you forgot the in his name. Not just the. elusive man. It's Tim. the elusive man. Tim. You don't even know his name. Did you find out his name in that game? No. Oh, that would, no. We that just call him totally Tim. ruin it. Yeah. All right, so. Well. I'm sorry. This this is too cute for me to, to hold back anymore. I'm oh, Phil got God. a new cat. Like him. I'm surprised he waited this long, 24 minutes into the podcast. Her name's Olive. She was just staring at me. I was petting her, and she was just staring at me, up up at me. You gotta stop giving cats attention. You gotta deprive them of attention, so they like you more. Her name is Olive. Olive, then. Don't misgender my cat. Hey, the tactic of, 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 of manipulating your cat stays the same, regardless of the name or gender. I'm not manipulating my cat. I know, I say you should. Oh. Yeah. No. With however I said you do that, because I'm assuming that's how you manipulate a cat, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> you guys been playing anything new? I've I've been playing the shit out of Sea of Stars. I've I also, didn't start that. 
You started it, Connor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where? Uh, how deep in? And and what do you think? Uh, I got to the the next world. I guess the out of the starting area after you get. You know, oh, you shocked. got picked up and chunked? All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm very much enjoying the combat system. Mm -hmm. it's, as you guys said, it's uh, it has a lot of uh, elements to make it active and mm -hmm. to increase the chances of you doing damage and also preventing damage from happening to you, so it always keeps you on your toes. So that avenue is extremely fun. Uh, the music is good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do like it. Uh, the story, I'm waiting for it to kick off and do something interesting because right now it's kind of in the realm of generic RPG and it doesn't it takes it about really 10 hours for that. that to happen, Connor. Yeah. Okay. Takes about 10 okay. hours. Okay. Yeah. I was expecting maybe for it to change. I was like, okay, but it's, you know, it's it's acceptable. It's not bad. It's not like I'm but sitting like there. But like the character writing is really good. Yeah. I mean, all the characters are entertaining. Like I said, I still haven't seen much from them. I'm yeah. still waiting for the, the selling point that's going to make me really attached to this game. But yeah, they're they're enjoyable. They're, they're, they're good, good old pals. You, you, I See, I don't, I don't think the story is what sell, sells you on the game. Or, or really not like you, Connor. Like I like uh, like looking at Sea of Stars now that I'm uh, a little more than 15 hours in. I think I hit 16 yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's it's not the, like the story or the world building or anything like that. It's just the, like the art and the music and the combat and uh, some of the character writings. Uh, the the moments where they just sit down and talk to each other, which is few and further far in between, at least more than I would like. I wish it happened more. Um, but all, like all of those moments are so charming. And so like, oh, okay. I believe these guys are friends. Like, type yeah. thing. And it's, it's cool watching them interact and work together and stuff like that. Um, I wish there was more story in it. And, uh, it's like classic turn-based RPG, Japanese RPG, uh, style where it's just like, Hey, you enter a town. Here's a little bit of story. Go fight a bunch of things. He's a little bit more story. And like, you're just like grasping to those moments of story for, for the life of you. <laughs> at least the combat is there to really yeah. make it Phil, fun. you're you're probably what in, into the 20s by now definitely into the 20s uh i was gonna ask tavin do you have all the party members yet no okay no oh, how many are there uh i believe there's a total of five yeah spoilers yeah well there's there's like five and then there's like a, a group of people who are traveling with you yeah yeah hmm. oh okay but Your in terms of like people on. who are in the combat, there there seems to be only five. There's only five slots like in the menu. Yeah, yeah. At the so, same time, I, I don't, don't have the fifth see one yet. There there could be. I I could see there being a sixth one, but I don't see any signs that would tell me yeah. that. Phil, Phil, I'll say I just got to the part where the game has opened up. Mm. So damn, that's far in. Yeah. Uh, which, like, as soon as it did, I was like, okay, I've clearly got probably about another 15 hours to go. Yeah. Like, at least. So. Um, I did think I did think that I was further along than I'm. I think I'm getting close to the end. You um, probably like, are. I could, see this yeah. being, I could see this being, like, a definitive, like, end, but I could also see there being, like, hey, there's this hidden other yeah. space that you got to go to. Yeah. Uh, from what I'm seeing online, it takes about 26 hours to beat. Um, mm. that's the medium, uh, but I'm seeing specific people going, Hey man, I'm kind of taking my time and just enjoying it. And I'm easily cracking 30, 35, like all that. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I, I freaking love, 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 love sea of stars. Uh, I also, I found some time to squeeze in a couple rounds of Titanfall two boys. Titanfall ah. two is fucking back. The plot twist of 2023 that I didn't need, but I'm so fucking in. Oh my god, it's so fun. I've lost it. I've lost my touch. I'm not good anymore. I used to be really good, and I'm fucking not anymore. Um, I, I'm just... I, it, it's just a matter of, like, I need to regain my footing, because the momentum and the... Uh, just the speed of the game is so much faster than than I'm used to. Um, I, I think just because, like, I went in with the idea of Apex, because the gunplay is, is similar to Apex, but um, it's just that, like... It, it, Titanfall 2 is just so much faster. Um, but man, getting the Titan drop, like uh, jumping into a Titan, climbing onto a Titan, pulling out batteries, jumping into your own, uh, the chess match that, that happens when Titans, you know, engage each other. Oh my God. It's still every bit as good as, as you remember it being. You know, a friend of the podcast, Fergus, 
He said uh, it was shortly after I was getting the news that the game was coming back, seeing the resurgence of players, uh, managing of servers and whatnot. He said that he had jumped on and there were some you know glitchy issues going on. So I, I don't know exactly you know what he was talking about. Well, I didn't actually play it. Connor so Fergus is part of the filth sur- you know surrounding the internet uh, in 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 that he is a PC player. Um, so mm. it doesn't surprise me that there are glitchy issues on a PC version of a video game. Like oh, a, God. Who would have like guessed a, that a PC like a port of you a get, game had glitches and you, issues going on? Who could have you know, fucking guessed that? You know, Tavin, you're on the you're on the warpath for being anti-PC. As a matter of fact, you've kind of become what you hate. Haven't you noticed that? Haven't you noticed the, the character that dream that's mean? going on here? What is that? Like mean? you, 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 you were criticizing PC master race people, yeah. And now here you are, console master race. Well, it's, it's because like, they. It's because it, listen, play games where you want to play them. All right, but the problem is, is that PC players go around waving their dicks in my face like they got real big swinging dicks, and then the fact <laughs> of the matter is, they're a bunch of chodes. Now, if you got a chode, that's fine. More power to you. Love is love. You should be loved and respected. But if you got a chode and you come up in my face and wave it around like it's a big fucking swinging dick and you ain't got it like that, son, you ain't got it like that, son, then shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, and know who the fuck you're talking to. Because the thing is, play the game wherever you want to play it. But if you're out here going, oh, I don't have to pay for my PlayStation Plus subscription. Uh, enjoy your 30 to 60 FPS. Uh, hey, you know what I am going to enjoy? Getting to play the fucking video game. Because you're sitting there, scratching your head for two hours, wondering why it won't fucking launch. At least I can get past the main menu. Hey, you want to know a great example of this, Connor? One of the best video games ever made, The Last of Us, recently got a remake. And it fucking sings on the PlayStation 5. It's one of the most gorgeous games I've ever played in my life. Great frame rates. Great storytelling. Great gameplay. That game is from 2013. Guess what got a fucking port to PC this year? The Last of Us, a 2013 hey. game, and it couldn't fucking work. You big hey. dick, small dick swinging losers hey. are out here saying this is the best platform for video games, and you fucking morons can't even play The Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think dick. there's a that large crossover. Sucks. I don't think there's a large crossover between PC players and Last of Us lovers. Which, uh, the other thing I gotta say, Tavin, we have, transparency is the name of the game. What do you play on? Gaming PC, or a gaming desktop, or a laptop? Connor, as I've said, and as I will always say, the technology in this uh-huh. laptop, when I got it, was up to date. Now it's out of date. But that's because PC uh, tech is out of date three months after it comes out. Well, mine's done. You haven't had it for three months, Connor. <laughs> I, oh, I've had this. I've had this for over a year. That's not yeah, true. That's the beginning. Yeah, I got this. Didn't like, you upgrade it like kind of recently? Yeah, like at the beginning of the year, the beginning and end of like last year, because it was it was like when I don't think that's when, true. Christmas was coming out, and I, I was like, okay, I need to change. I think he's got. It it. I think you've got your timeline all messed up. That's reasonable. <laughs> as long as the third month, though. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> That was, that was a rant right there. Um, Connor, what do you have for us this week? Well, I have top 10 best PC games right here. I have a list that you guys Oh, we're all doing hit 10s. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, he's joking. No, he's um, kidding. Yeah. Who is that? I thought for a second. He no, almost had play... me, but then I remember what he said before the podcast. Oh, fucking First, I was able to Portal 1 six times. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, wait, Portal 1? Counter Strike Go, fucking losers. Yeah, been playing Counter Strike Go, talking about this is the best platform ever. Fucking idiots. I love Counter Strike Go. I don't even know what that is. Counter Strike Go is well, a great game. Yes, Go. Counter Strike Go. Anyway, yeah, that, that was a, that was a that was a rough blank card that you had yeah. there, Connor. Well, uh, because Tavin was saying it kind of weird. People don't say Counter Strike Go; they say either CS Go or Counter Strike Global Offensive. Yeah, nobody says shorten, the full title. The thing. Nobody says the full title. They'll they'll shorten. I've said the full full title. <laughs> I just did. Well, who is that? You guys are going to be given a list of character descriptions, traits, what have you. Uh, Kratos, for example, might be one of them. And then I'm going to, oh, you know, give you guys a second. 
each time I give you in to guess, to buzz in first, of course, as we usually do on this show. Uh, are you guys uh, are you guys ready? You guys understand the rules? Did I? You know, Connor, I heard you? I heard that Kratos had a surprising uh, sequel that would technically be the fourth game. He did. He is at four mainline games, and then eventually a fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. But that's beside the point. Kratos what are your was thoughts just on an that example. Seven? Kratos was just an example. I mean, I mean, up is down, left is right. Cats and dogs are playing around in, in the front yard together, man. What do you want from me? Giants are doing cartwheels. That's true. All right. You guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Tavin, I'm, are you ready? I'm ready, ready for your fuckery, Connor, is what I'm ready for. Well, pay attention for it. Always keep that in the back of your mind. First one. Character is a, a handy man. Handy woman. Buzz. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Why did wait? Why did you say handy woman? Well, okay, it could be a handy man. Handy oh, woman, all right, Mario. No. Okay. Go on. I'm gonna say handy Manny from the Handy Manny video game. <laughs> That's certainly not it. All right, the the character is protective by nature of the game they're in. Oh, I'll say I'll buzz. Yep. I'm gonna say Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. No. I'm assuming that is a good one. It's not yeah, a, that not is a bad one. guess. I don't know about a protective. No, yeah, sure. If you want. <laughs> Touch him and it's Plasma City! <laughs> you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's from the second game. Hmm. Handyman, or caricature, caricature type, protective by nature. Protective by nature. Joel Miller? No. Okay. No, no, I was like, Joel Miller. Uh, got another good one. It's a good one. It's... You hear yeah, him. You craft things. You do. I think you this know, is him hand fixing something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Multiple times. You hear him before you see him. M. I'm just using the word M. You didn't come across. hear them before you see them. Handyman. Protective by nature. Puzz, uh, Sam Fisher? No. Okay. That'd be the opposite of what you would do. I was gonna say, you don't... You wouldn't hear him. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. You would he would sneak up behind you so you wouldn't even see him. What the fuck? Hold on. Go ahead, say the giant, one. Phil. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna say... Hmm... I'll just say Clank. Uh, no. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know if these... Th at that point, like when you get into Ratchet and Clank, I'm like, I guess that's the character trait they have. Uh, characters relentless when aggravated. It's better not be fucking Kratos again. <laughs> That'd be funny. Relentless handy, when aggravated. Handyman, protective by nature. Hear them before you see them. Buzz. Bill? Oh, God. E Honda. Ha, ha. He, he does the hands. Ha, ha. Ha. That's a pretty good one. I don't know who we're fucking talking about. E Honda Street from Fighter. Street Fighter. Come on. Oh, uh, okay. Sumo. Oh, gotcha. 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 Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't take the time code for this. All right. Fuck it. No time codes this week, guys. Mm. I thought that was clever. It was. It was. Good job, Phil. I'll clap for you for that one. But you can't hear it. Thanks. I got nothing. I'm passing this hint. All right. All right. Uh, the character in question is rarely ever alone. Pretty much never. Hear them before you see them. Handyman. Handyman. Protected by nature. Relentless when aggravated? Yes. Rarely ever alone. Could be Ratchet and Clank. It, uh, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, these yeah, these almost all um all fit. God damn it, that one's hard. Uh Relentless when aggravated? I have mm -hmm. a guess, but they're not they're not handy. Yeah. Is the thing. Oh, so I also don't think that you would pick this character. It's a very Phil character. 
Relentless when aggravated. Buzz. Yes. Luigi. <laughs> Who? Who is that? Luigi. Luigi. Ah, yes, that one's. Yeah, I thought you said Luigi. Who the hell is that? Oh, Luigi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, those are the guesses right there. I well, haven't guessed this round. Phil hasn't oh, given a did. guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, you thought you were gonna say. Okay. Never. I mean, I'll do my guess. It's not correct. It's a, it's to Phil. Uh, Jack from Jack and Daxter. He's also not handy. Not handy. No. Um. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna broaden your horizons. Okay. I'm gonna pull the rug out from under you. Okay. Okay. Not in the way I did last time, Tavin. <laughs> but in a new way, which is, this is not a singular character, but rather one with the same traits amongst them. No, I don't know Buzz. what the fuck that means. What? <laughs> it's, a, it's not a singular character. I'll, we'll get to you in a second, Phil. It's one that share. It's a variety of characters that share these traits. But, Phil? Uh... B2. No. B2. B2. Oh, no, sorry. What's the fucking character? Oh, oh 2B. 2B. That's the one. Yeah, no. What the fuck? So, basically, it's not like, it's not like a... I'll specify next time. No, I got nothing, man. Pass. It's like, not a... a this is a pass, but it's not like a named character in the traditional sense of, like, what you think of when you think a character. So, we'll go on. It'll, it'll, it'll click at some point. Um, Buzz, the player character. <laughs> next question. Next guess. Uh, wears untraditional heavy armor. Suited fuck up. What the fuck are we talking? Oh, but are, is this like the Space Marine? No. Okay. That's um, just heavy armor. I don't see how they're really handy. Uh, I'll, I'll say the hunters from Halo. <laughs> yeah, no, not them. All right. I'll have to narrow it down here since we're getting to the end. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's so obvious. It's so obvious when you hear it. You'll know. Uh, comes in a variety of models. Models. Buzz. Tap. No, it can't be this. Titans? No. Okay. Variety of models. B2, I believe, is the Titan from Titanfall 2, also. Oh, you were saying B... Okay. Wasn't he B1? Nah. No, he's B2. He's B2. No, I, I, was, thinking, I was definitely thinking of 2B. Like yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. I knew you were thinking of 2B, but yeah, it, it, it's B2. Good evening, 621. Your mission to dick. God, that game is cool. This is such a um, cool game. 621? Yeah, oh, it's not 621. It's just all right, 621. All right, all right, all right, all right. Who gives a fuck? Your mission oh, is to six. jerk me off. Oh, God. <laughs> also would accept tourists, I, buddy. I need cock, 621. Please? Please? Fuck, dude. I don't know. Just pass. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll pass. All right. So uh, maybe this one will be like the, the, the quick guessing game at this point now. Uh, most iconically, it's known to carry a big drill. How many hints do you drill. have for this one entry? Ten. Known to carry a big drill. Oh, Buzz. That's oh, really? stupid. You should have done this like six years ago. You should Six mm -hmm. hints ago. Big Daddy. Yeah. So that'd be so easy. That'd be so easy. It would, be, it would just click right there. Yeah, but like, motherfucker, you had us thinking that it was like, like, like a whole franchise or something. Like you went way too broad. They're Did handy. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what they were made for originally. Yeah, yeah. They were made uh, for like maintenance. They're, they're repairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 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 They are just people in suits. At the end of the day, that went crazy. They're mutants. Yeah. Okay. But that's the first one. That's the first one. Damn it. How many of these do you have? 
Three. Probably. Oh, okay. Three. That, that, that one went great, longer. Great, 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 great. Yeah. Next one. This character earns and deserves a lot of cool points, style points. Buzz. Buzz. Oh. Fit tap. Dante. No. That's who I was going to say. Mm -hmm. So move along. He's passing. No guess? He's passing. Okay. No, that's, that was my guess. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, his character is motivated by power. Buzz. Phil. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> that is... No. <laughs> I saw your, your face, like, there was a light was like, in Phil's what? eyes for like half a second. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> motivated by power gets style cool points. Um... <laughs> Star Killer. <laughs> <laughs> it is not Star Killer. Uh, this character is considered an anti-hero. Star Killer. Um, <gasps> Do what happened? I changed my mind. It is Star Killer. Yay! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Look at my power. Gets lots of cool points. Dude, and Shadow the Hedgehog girl. is a great guess for this. <laughs> that was very good. Um, I mean, he's more motivated by like trying to figure out his past, but yeah. Anti-hero. How many anti-heroes are in video games? Pretty good amount, I would say. I'm passing. Passing. I'm sorry, did you guess, Phil? Still no. Star Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, this character wears uh, a primarily blue outfit. Buzz. Phil. Jack from Jack and Dexter. <laughs> no, does he? I didn't even know that. In the second game, yeah. yeah. Ah. Primarily blue. Style points, anti hero. I don't know if I even know this one. Nero? No. Okay. Thought we were still right, in the next. realm of Devil May Cry for a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, act superior around others. Above others. An anti-hero. Dude, I'm just trying to find somebody in blue now. I can't even picture mm -hmm. it. Blue, 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 blue. Video game anti-hero wears blue. You ever just go through the Rolodex of Smash Brothers characters? Yeah. I mean, there's so many. Easy way to get characters. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, Buzz, Sora, when he's using one of them stupid-ass <laughs> Keyblades. No, he's not an anti-hero. Sora's a hero, not an anti-hero. <laughs> It's all about your perspective, you know? It is, and that's the wrong perspective. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. The oh, fuck. fuck. Bum. An anti-hero. That doesn't fit his description, but I'll, I, I, think, I think I've got one. Uh, what's his name from Infamous? Paul McGrath? Uh... That is his name, but it's not. A... Damn it. Was a good, well, that was a decent pull. There you go, man. Yes. Uh, next, Tevin already said it, so. Uh... Superior around others, though. Yes. Maybe this will, this will, this next one will help. Get ready, guys. This character wields a katana. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, I don't know it. I really I don't I know it. Uh... <laughs> wields a katana? Mm -hmm. Ooh! What the fuck is this? Mm. Anti-hero? Where's blue? And I said considered an anti-hero because everyone calls this character an anti-hero, but I'm always just like more like sometimes an anti-hero, but it seems more like a a villain usually. But that's the classification. What the fuck? Um, I'll just throw out a guess. I'll say uh, Raiden. No. Damn. Katana? No. Nah. I I don't I don't know. Yeah. I have one other guess, but I don't know the person's name. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I don't know. 
All right, uh, this character's attacks uh, will sometimes leave effects on the screen. Very famous for that. Yeah, see, I don't, I think his name's, it's like, it's like Ryu something from uh, Ninja Gaiden. I don't remember his name. You were right. I think it was Ryu Hayabusa. Hayabusa, yeah. Hayabusa, but that's not it. Damn. Ninja Gaiden did enter my brain. When I thought I had it before he said Katana, I, I was thinking Archangel slash Garrus. <laughs> That's funny. It's a good one. Um, no, I don't That's such it. a twist. I, that was such I, a I twist really, whenever I played that game. I really don't know. Okay. Uh, maybe this next one might uh, narrow it down a lot more. Has a more famous brother. More identifiable. More famous brother, anti-hero. Connor, do I know this character? <laughs> yeah, you all do. He has been known to people. He's not a... He's not, he's not, he's not, I guess, well, small character, big character. See, this upset. game is always tough because Connor's brain works differently than fucking everybody else's. Makes it more, uh, make it, makes it more uh, titillating. Does it? It's, I don't know. I think I used the word wrong. Oh, gosh. Bum, 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 I don't know. Bum, Pass. Bum, bum. Okay. No, they're not blue, though. <sighs> yeah, I'm passing. Hmm. All right. Where are we all? Uh, has a shock of white hair. It's a white-haired character. Famous brother. Earns a lot of cool points. Motivated by power. Anti-hero. Buzz. Blue outfit. Oh. No, never mind. I don't Sorry. know, dude. Uh, I, 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 I do not know. Okay, I'll... No, I'll, I'll buzz. I'll buzz. Okay. Uh, Virgil. Phil, you got it. With Virgil. I was going to say, I think you left Devil May Cry too soon, Tevin. I, you guys were close I've to only it. played five. I don't know what Virgil looks like. He's in five. I know, but five, I don't yeah. remember. He's the final fight. Uh, He's there for twenty for like ten minutes, and then you beat him. So doesn't I, he have like a like a like a pet or something? He was he was not no. memorable to me. So robot. who's the one that has like the the robot assistant animals or something? I do not know. Not, I don't think anybody in Devil May Cry has that. Mm. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh of no, him. yeah, V has like. Shadow Beast's animals. That yeah, isn't that Virgil? Game. It's Tack Virgil. Dude, that story, is, it, that story is bonkers. Like, it, it, it's nonsensical. It's pretty Because that, that's, I think, what I was thinking of. Because they have, like, a motorcycle, too, right? Yes. That yeah. they use as a weapon. Yeah. Well, Dante does. Yes, well, yeah, Dante yeah. uses that. Just puts a motorcycle. It's a weapon in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a cool game. All right. Last one. Deal Breaker. Right? Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. That's true. Uh, Hunter just said deal breaker. <laughs> deal breaker. Tiebreaker. Uh, this character has appeared in multiple games, but their appearance still remains relatively the same. Characters identifiable. Buzz. Games. No. Mario. No. Ifrit? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one, but no. Uh, maybe this uh, next one will cancel out some of those there's a really cool ifri like figurine coming out next year yeah i saw that that looked, it looks so, really cool it really does i wonder how much that costs and it's like posable and stuff mm -hmm. uh the character has a regal bearing buzz phil zelda and phil takes it oh, with zelda go. okay all right mm -hmm. yeah sure Little, little, little breadcrumbs led to a, a that one, <laughs> that game is so frustrating for me because I'm just like, oh man, it's like we're we're, on, we're like on an audio people. podcast, we can't just be silent and thinking. Yeah, sorry, uh, that that's like the main part of that 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 gets me is yeah, like I'm I'm not a very loud thinker. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. so I'll just, I'll just be like, fucking just sitting there, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> oh thing. my god, well, good job. Yeah. I won. Hey, you didn't give us like absolute bullshit, Connor. 
So yeah, absolutely, that was, that was I gave you one. no bullshit. That was a decent one. Um, do you rub your nose, Tammy? Is that your tell oh of, of me of you smelling me? No, it's the tell of me not being able to breathe out of my nose. <laughs> yeah, that's the Poor more guy. unfortunate one. Uh, anyway, Tabin, you're the last one today. We're gonna jump what do you in have for us real quick, boys. We got another hit ten. It's me and Phil's favorite game to do. This is from the gamer. Ten best video game action heroes. Their intro. Uh, goes as this. The action hero trope never gets old. Nothing is more thrilling than watching a butt-kicking protagonist dangle from a cliff, run away from an explosion, or shoot a bad guy while spouting a one-liner. Whether they're subtle and nuanced or cheesy and full of quips, they're always satisfying to play as in video games. So, gentlemen, I have, of course, a list. There are 10 entries on the list. Number one is worth 10 points. Number 10 is worth one point. You will each have five guesses to get through this list, Who's Connor. Going first, since uh, Connor, since uh, I went first with uh, Phil's game, uh, you can go first this time around. Fair Repeat enough. the title of the the, the category again. Just Ten best video game action heroes. Action heroes. Okay. Um, let's just start off easy. Let's go with um. Let's go with Master Chief. Connor, Master Chief is not on the list. Damn! Really. <laughs> I'm gonna go. All right. This is the first one that pops in my head when I think like action hero. Hero of humanity. I'm gonna say Duke Nukem. Wow. Okay. Surprised that you that you went that route, Phil. You are correct. Duke Nukem is on the list. He's number nine on the list, giving oh, you two, really? two points. I've got balls of steel. Listen, hasn't That's had a game right. in a long time, and the last game he had was not good. So forever. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, was Duke Nukem really that big of a thing? <laughs> Like, I'll rip yeah. your head off and shit down your neck. Yeah, that's so rad. Connor. Um, let's go with um I had it. I had it and it would have been a good one. Let's go with Doom Guy. Doesn't talk. Not on the list. <laughs> Doom guy's not on the list. Come on, man. Guys, there's there's a really easy one here. Like that we're I know. Getting, why are we why are we getting the like there's there's like three really easy ones. Like <laughs> I did an easy one first. The Master Chief one is okay, but Doom Guy is not the would not be the second name out of my mouth. <laughs> like, Phil, your second guess. Max Payne. Max Payne oh. is on the list at number six. All right, let's go with the uh, easy, Granting simple. Nathan Drake. Five points. There, you, there you go, Connor. There you go with some <laughs> nice and simple. Nathan Drake is number three on the list. That will grant you eight points. Jesus Christ, my cat's back, going crazy outside. Back to Phil. Um, action heroes, you say? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, not so much action. I, I guess Solid Snake. I don't know. Definitely an action hero. I don't know what crack you're smoking. Uh, Phil, okay. that is number 10 on the list granting or i'm sorry number one on the list granting you 10 points let's number go one. yeah jesus yeah Got, uh, guys he blew up a helicopter he's got one liners like come on now max ammo yeah or unlimited ammo yeah Colonel. Con connor back to you let's go with dante connor dante is on the list he's at number eight that'll get you three Damn. points Boop, boop, boop. Phil. All right. Um, we said Nathan number Drake. We said each. Can you, can you list off all the ones we said? Number nine, Duke Nukem. Number eight, Dante. Number six, Max Payne. Number three, Nathan Drake. And number one, Solid Snake. So number two, okay, number so we, four, five, seven, and ten are still available. You know what? Where where are the ladies at, Tavin? Where are the ladies at? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say Laura Croft since we said since we said uh, Nathan Drake. Phil, pretty much Croft, locking right. in his his win of this game. Laura Croft is at number two, granting him nine more points above Nathan Drake. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. We don't really have that many one liners though. We gotta respect the classics. Oh, and the old stuff. In the old stuff. Oh, I guess yeah. Yeah. The Angelina Jolie style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connor, we're back to you. One of them that kept coming into my head can't possibly be it, especially if some of the other ones weren't on there, like Master Chief. Um, that one really threw me off. Action, action, action. I lost my way. 
Doom guy. Yeah, he's in he's in the zeitgeist now. Everyone thinks about him when he's like badass character. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm curious if he's on the list. Let's go, Link. Link is not on the list. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't final. know he classified as like an action hero. Phil, final guess. Save the world. Final guess. Um, I'm gonna stay with the ladies here. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. Samus. Yeah. Samus is number ten on the list, granting one wait, wait. point. Oh no, the the other one that was number ten, you said was not. Yeah, yeah, I, I oh, messed so, that so one. I, so I, up. So I cleaned up number ten, nine, and one and two. Yeah. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> Phil just bookending the whole list. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, that leads us. Phil did take the lead at twenty-seven points to Connors. 11. Starting from the bottom of the list, Phil got Samus Aran at number 10. Phil got number 9, Duke Nukem. Connor got number 8 at Dante. Before I reveal number 7, the one, the first one that we did not get, does anybody else have any other guesses? This, oh, okay. Just for fun. Um, man or woman? Either or. Well, I guess actually there's just women left. Uh, Commander there Shepard. Commander Shepard is not on the list, but should not be bad. on the list. Should be on the list. Um, I was thinking, I mean, who just won the best action RPG? I'm going to say Bayonetta. Bayonetta is that number seven slot, Phil. At, at, or not at RPG, Bayonetta. just best, act, best action game, right? Yeah. Uh, putting Bayonetta above Dante, I don't know about that, but okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Number six is Max Payne. Number five and number four, I was not expecting you two to get because I think it's some absolute bullshit. Uh, number five is Ellie from The Last of Us. Yeah. What? No. Yeah, not an action hero. Not an action hero. Mm. Not at all. Um, and number four is fucking Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. That classifies enough. I guess. I think if there's an action hero. I guess, but stuff. if you're going to pull an action hero from Resident Evil, it's not going to be Jill Valentine. It's going to be Chris Redfield. Chris it Redfield. Is. It should be Leon Kennedy is what it should no, be. No, no. It should be Chris because he punched a boulder. There's nothing more action adventure packed than that. It's like, but Leon is in... Is in the action game of the series. Yeah. Mm. You know? In four, yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, four Jill Valentine. And then as we said, top three top three is solid. It's just four and five that like, wow, that kind of messed up this list a little bit. Uh Jill? Number yeah, mm. yeah. Uh number she three was almost a Jill sandwich, dude. Yeah. <laughs> number true. three is Nathan Drake. Number two is Laura Croft. Number one is Solid Snake. By the way, Solid Snake's a bad choice for number one. Like as no, far as like the achievements, not. as far as no. as far as the achievements, he sneaks around. He doesn't. He's not like he's not as angry as some that's of the other guys. Connor, he's, he's literally he's literally a copy, a carbon copy of Snake Plissken from Escape from New York. It's Kurt Russell. That's not the oh. that is not the most iconic like action hero though. Like if you think of like the most that's like Indiana Jones, which makes sense with Laura Croft or. Uh, like but but Con that's uh, 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 Connor in the Twin Snakes video game in the Twin Snakes remake of the first game he jumps off of a missile. There is a missile fired at him. He jumps on it, jumps off, and then fires another missile back at the helicopter. I feel like out of all of the things that people talk about when they think Solid Snake, that's not really high up there for, for some reason. It's the image like of him with the SOCOM it. pistol. It's the one-liners. It's the it's the him shooting things and blowing things up. That's most game characters. But the cinematic quality to it also like like elevates it. Solid Snake's a good number one. I would well, probably put it, I'd probably put Drake at number one personally because like Drake is the quintessential action hero. Um, yeah, I cannot believe I couldn't think of Drake. But Snake is going to be a top three for sure. Just for some reason, the first thing I think of when I think action hero would be stuff like Duke Nukem, Max Payne. I don't think so much those Duke other Nukem's people that were so higher old. And yeah. Like, like irrelevant but i feel like i feel like the like action hero trope is old we're in the we're in the era of comic book movie what <laughs> but that's not i think that's superhero i don't think action hero action hero is just like a, a dude expendables 4 comes out this month like i don't know what's yeah doing. okay <laughs> there you go there you see that that's some action hero stuff you got rambo you got uh arnold schwarzenegger yeah from predator yeah that's an action hero you know i'm surprised max Payne was so high on the list as well that that was also surprising too when you said duke nukem was nine i was like i'll maybe get number eight here with max Payne. <laughs> it was the only thing i could think like of. honestly like I, I'm not even sure if Dante and Bayonetta... If I were to make a list, I don't know if Dante and Bayonetta would make it. 
Really? Yeah. Who would you replace them with? Shepard? Shepard. Shepard's on the list for sure. Sam Fisher's on the list. Um it's another stealth guy. Like it's a it's a one man commando. Mm. <laughs> like that's an action hero. Um <clears throat> Uh, I'd have to think about it. I can't off the top, but like Sam Fisher mm-hmm. being there, Commander Shepard being there. Uh, yeah, I think Chief should have been in there. Kratos could be in there over Dante. I would maybe argue. Um, I mean, yeah. an action hero though. Until like, well, I guess till later. News. Yeah, eh. Ellie should not be on this list. Point blank. Yeah. And Jill should not be on this list. Found in the gavel on that one. Leon, Leon would be there. Chris would be there, for sure. Yeah. Chris has got the arms of an action hero. To be honest, he does. Very documented. Like that time where he said, "Women." Remember that time he said that Ellie wasn't an action hero? It's misogynistic. I do remember that. Why? Because she's a woman. And then he went on. She's to a say gay she's, woman, Tevin. She's weak as well. Like really crazy. Like, also not a hero, Ellie. <laughs> like uh, that's true as well. What, women can't be heroes? No, they, they can. Wow. Laura Croft's in the top three, no matter what. If you don't have Laura Croft uh-huh. in the top three, you got a, ba- a problem with your list. It's a problem Name three list. games of Laura Croft. Tomb Raider. Uh, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, <laughs> Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3. They're releasing them on the Switch next year. Next year. Where they still they? look bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course they do. It's just ports. Polygon ports. They just cleaned yeah, up but the... They, they cl- they said it's remastered. Phil, you need to you need to figure out what a remaster and a remake are. You need to figure I gotta, out. I gotta what, what, I gotta watch the Scott the Waz video. You again. need to figure out the difference between those two things. Scott the Waz. It's not hard. I love Scott the Waz. He's a good guy. Hey, you know, you never met him. Could be a piece of shit. Well, don't what? never meet your heroes. You know. Don't, don't ever, heroes. guys. You can't say Scott the Waz is a piece of shit. Come on. You, 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 that, you just cannot we're say not, that. I we're didn't not say saying that. he didn't is say or that. isn't. We're just saying you don't know. You've never met him. I'd like to. True. Scott, this is true. if you're out there, don't meet <laughs> your heroes. <laughs> hey, y'all. Scott here. I don't watch him enough to know that. That's what he says. So he opens every video. Actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't watch him. You should. Sure? He, he makes, makes good great. stuff. He makes really good stuff. I don't like when play. he does like the skit stuff. Uh, but his jokes are really funny and, uh, and yeah. he, he, he does well thought out stuff. He, he's like, he's like the most like well-educated casual gamer. You know what I mean? Like, he, for like he's like kind of casual in his approach to video games, but like, he's not like dumb about it. Like he never says dumb things. He's the least filthy casual. Very nice. You could also say he's the most filthy casual, you know. Mm. But have you, are, are you Phil such a fan of Scott the Waz that you've seen his first one of his first videos, first time vape shop visit? Hmm? <laughs> you know, I can honestly say I have not seen the first time vape shop visit. I'm gonna watch one that. I'm gonna watch that have. remake video again. That was a great video. Oh yeah, the remake versus remasters versus uh, re-release mm. versus yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. But if video. you like, if you like barrel scraping for content, that's like good quality videos. To- well, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and scrap a, a, a script I've been writing for the last couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Well, I think that's all of our mini games, and that's the, all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, boys, for joining me on this lovely episode of the Piggy Bank. Of course, all of our links for social media are going to be in the description. Uh, unfortunately, Tavin did not record time codes, so there will not be any time codes in the description. Um, I forgot. And I got listen. There's a lot. There's a lot going on on my end. <laughs> be sure to check us out on all your favorite podcasting platforms. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Sub, uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on TikTok. Uh, do the damn thing. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, talk to us. Tell us what you think the best Mario game is. Tell us who you think the best action hero is, and tell us why Connor's wrong about everything he does. I hear it. I'll take it. Except, except for when he, you know, you know why you're wrong today, Connor. Mm, what? You're not wearing your red shirt. And you know what the, the funny thing was is I could have worn it and I was 
thing to myself, well, it's not the main podcast, which is what it was referring to, so I can get away with it. Yeah, this is that dirty, filthy podcast that we do. <laughs> Nobody cares about this one. It's it's our highest viewed video last, last week, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> are you filthy with a PH? Because that's my name. Because you are the host of this show. Bye! <laughs> See ya!